This morning I'm working on some hand painted fabric that will go in the cubby beds in the attic. I've got a completed pillow here with my puppy pattern on it that I painted yesterday. I'm going to do four of these so I'm working on um, continuing to do more of the painting this morning. Painting your own fabric is a fun project and it's also a great way to make sure you have a completely unique fabric um, that is custom for your home. So for this project, you will need your fabrics, one lumbar pillow, a zipper, a yardstick and a measuring tape, fabric scissors, pins, a seam ripper, a chalk marker, or your pencil will also do the same thing, paint brushes to paint with, acrylic paints, an iron and an iron board, a sewing machine, and your inspiration. So the first thing I did was practice my drawing on a piece of paper. So I have all the puppies that I wanted to do on the fabric on both sides of here. So I'm using this as a reference as I go. And I'm just gonna do quick little sketches with pencil on my fabric so I can kind of space it out and um, have an, a rough idea of where the puppies are gonna go before I start to paint. Once I had my pencil sketches on the fabric, I outlined them with some acrylic paint and then I started filling them in one by one. Once your paint has dried, you're ready to start sewing your pillows. The first thing you need to do is take the measurements on the package, which is 13 by 25, subtract an inch from each side, so one side's going to be 12, the other one's going to be 24, and then add back your 5 8 seam allowance. So I'm going to measure and mark my fabric for 24 and 5 8 and 12 and 5 8 and then I'm going to use my fabric scissors to cut out my pattern. Now this fabric has a bit of a stretch to it, so it's hard to get a straight line, but because we do have a bit of a seam allowance, we'll be able to make adjustments as we um, sew on the machine. So I have my painted fabric, and I'm going to take the wool that I already cut, lay it over my painted fabric, and there's two ways of doing this. You can either pin it and cut around with your scissors, or mark it and then cut. The right sides of my fabrics are together. I'm going to pin it. I'm going to put a basting line with the sewing machine at the bottom of my fabric, and that's where my zipper will go in. So I'm doing a very simple basting stitch. I'm just going to put the thread in one direction through the material. I'm going to follow my 5 eighths mark on the sewing machine and pull my pins out as I go. And I don't need to reverse it or do anything to attach the thread on either side because we're going to pull this thread out as soon as we get our zipper in. You want to have the bulk of your fabric on the outside of the machine and just let the machine do the work. Now that my basting stitch is done, I'm going to take my fabric over to the ironing board and iron my seams flat. So now that I have my seam nice and ironed down, I'm just going to take the zipper that I have, pin it and feel for the crease and just put your pins in as you go and it'll all work out. Just trust it's all going to work out. <laughs> Now that my zipper is pinned in place, I'm going to sew down one side and then back up the other side. I'm gonna do my best to follow the line that's already here for me. With all the bulkiness in the fabric and the zipper, it's important to remember to take your pins out. My zipper is in there, so I've got my seam on either side. I'm just gonna take the seam ripper and I'm gonna find my basting stitch here. As I pull out the basting stitch, see, peekaboo, there's my zipper. Now we're gonna pin it and sew the rest of our seams together and then we'll be able to put the lumbar pillows inside. So now that my sewing is all done, I'm just going to trim the fabric back closer to the seam. I just undo the zipper, flip it right side out and stuff your lumbar pillows inside. All of my patterns are a little bit different because they are hand painted, but now it's all complete and that's how you get a little doggy lumbar pillow. Tuck, look, which one's you? Which one looks like you? Does this one look like you? 